So I am very lucky because as the most famous half Persian comedian in the world, I've paired up with a group called Turning Point USA. Turning Point USA was started by a guy named Charlie Kirk. He's a genius. He's a very fascinating guy. He's very intelligent. He's well read. He's trained himself on topics that are important to him. Economics, policy, government, the constitution. He is like an encyclopedia, but he never went to college. So he makes the case that maybe, just maybe, instead of the government tax dollars needing to pay off all these student loans for French literature, and if you got your degree in diversity lesbian theories and transgender indoctrination to the military, you know, maybe you just pay $200,000 for a degree that will lead to nowhere, and maybe you really don't have any expertise. So he advises going into the trade, starting your own business, going into real estate, being a part of society that we need, not just someone that got a piece of paper from an institution. Well, I thought that sounded good. Now, I've been to college, I have my degree. It's not that serious, but I didn't take a worthless degree. I got a business degree. I studied economics, marketing. You see it every day in everything I do. I studied how to run a business, entrepreneurship. That was the electives I took. So I'm trained for this, and I enjoy going to Turning Point and meeting with his chapters. So why am I telling you this? Turning Point USA, Fort Myers, Florida, Gulf Coast, University, fuck you, hired me. They brought me out as an ambassador to speak to the students. There was about 50, 60 students that came. 40 of them were turning point, and the other 10 or 20 that were there were kind of just there to like mad dog me and make faces at me and pretend it wasn't funny. But the 45 students that were there from turning point, we were having so much fun that it actually was just kind of funny to watch them pretend not to laugh while we were laughing. So enjoy the little clip. I want you to see what our youth are doing and maybe you can support a Turning Point chapter near you. Check them out. Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm actually from Massachusetts and I've been kind of watching what's been going on in our country and I'm not super happy about the direction our young people are taking. Pretty what's easier to come out of the closet or the conservative closet on college campus? I would say the closet at this point. I would say the closet. Hey, it is your favorite half Persian comedian. I just arrived at Florida Gulf Coast University, Fort Myers, just had a horrible hurricane. So this event is not just a comedy night with Turning Point USA, but it's a charity event for the Red Cross. We're gonna raise money and give it to people that suffered a horrible loss. So two things happening at the same time, go freedom of speech, go charity event, go Florida, go Coast University. Um, I'm Alyssa Chiego, I'm the Vice President, and I got involved through Turning Point through one of my friends. It was just a mutual thing. Do people assume you're conservative or not? They don't really assume anything, but since I like recently dyed my hair a little bit, they think I'm a little more liberal. I know. So I'm a little, I'm a little in disguise. When I saw her hair, I was like, I better not talk to her. But... No, no, I'm just in disguise. It's all good. You're undercover. Yeah. You can go work for Project Veritas. <laughs> yeah. You're like guys, I have, I have dyed hair. You can let me in. You're just trying to get straight A's, aren't you? <laughs> I wish. Hi, Professor. I have Hi. Um, I have pink hair. Give me, give me good grades. What are you expecting to see in the comedy show? Something good. You better give us something. Anything good. off limits? No. Oh, For me, no. That's what I love to hear. That's a real college show. <laughs> I'm Samantha Stowa Carroll. I'm the president of Turning Point USA. What did you think when Biden called you a radical extremist because you're a conservative? Well, I don't know. I guess I am a radical extremist. <laughs> just want all kinds of free speech. Yeah, just freedom, you know. Constitution, like all that stuff. Rights. The founding fathers. Yeah, George Washington. <laughs> I'm Jake, I'm from Fort Lauderdale. What's with the glasses, dude? Um, well, just like Biden does, I have to wear my glasses so I, don't, so I can hide my dementia. How long you been involved in Turning Point? About two and a half years, and I've been the, the treasurer for about two years. You're in charge of all the money. I try to. <laughs> I know how to balance my budgets. If you love the Constitution, I recommend joining this organization. I do. I love it. Yes, Thank sir. you, sir. Let's go to the comedy show. Let's do it. Cheers! Turning point. This is all non-alcoholic. Mocktail. <laughs> we just finished a successful comedy night in Fort Myers. Yeah. Mmm. There you have it, I wanted you to see these young, impressionable kids, but they're already wise beyond their years. They're getting involved in Turning Point. They're 17, 18, 19, 21 years old, already concerned about the Constitution, freedom of speech, and where things are going. When I was that age, I was like, where's the bar? Where's the nearest uh, place to go meet chicks and get beers for a nickel? So they are 
They are well ahead of where I was at that age, and uh, they understand the writings on the wall. As a comedian, I noticed that a little too late. The far left started taking over what you're allowed to talk about, joke about. Don't say this word. We don't talk about that. If you say that word, we'll get upset. This used to be the far right that would be like, no dancing in here. You're too close. But now the far left is no talking about trans diggly doos. We're all equal. You know, and like, well, I'm just making a joke about the trans diggly. No, the trans diggly do is off limits. If you say it, we'll fire you. You'll never work cruises, comedy clubs, ships, colleges, or ha be able to show your face. If you talk about trans diggly doos and don't talk about Vax Boosty Boost and don't talk about Fauci, don't talk about George Fliggity Floyd and don't talk about Biggity Bone. You're like, what? what are all these rules? It sounds to me like you want me to follow clown time. <laughs>